Hi and welcome to our first impressions and walkthrough of the Swift Voyager 584. I'll start with the back. It has got a huge garage, guys. There's little storage cubbies here. You've got electric, you've got some USB sockets and you've got a cigarette lighter in there. But look at that, it is huge in there. And it opens from both sides. Right. Now it doesn't come with a bike rack as standard. They have put a two bike rack on there, a two lay two bike rack on there. Over here, that's your cassette toilet here and vents for the fridge here and here. You do have one awning light there. There is no awning on this though. There's no awning fitted as standard. Over here, we've got fresh water and a pump point here. That's your uh, vent for your Truma hot water and heating. You've got alloy wheels. Over here is your electric point and you've got a small gas locker that will fit two small gas bottles in. The graphics for this 2023 model look fantastic. Ours is with the, the red and the black. I think the blue and the black looks exceptionally good as well. Okay, having a look up front in the cab, it's got all the buttons on the steering wheel. That's fantastic. Also, the steering wheel does go in and out and up and down as well. You've got some adjustment on the steering wheel. Over on the dash, you've got um, 12 volt up here and there's plenty of storage over on the top of the dashboard. It's got a nice big stereo. This is touchscreen, but it is also Apple CarPlay. So that is really, really handy. It's an automatic box, this one. This is a six speed auto. More storage down here, USB here. Put your phone in there and it will come out on the display. And there we have a glove box too. I really like the positioning of the cup holders here. Right. Um, the number of times when we've had ours down low that we've got out the seat and knocked over is quite, quite a lot. But up the front, they're nice and protected and there's something a good storage down there too. There's a bin on the door. You've got a slide up blind here and there's somewhere for your umbrella. The Voyager range is created to be really versatile and really dynamic. There are different areas to the vehicle. At the front we have the main living room. The upholstery in it is, is in a really great hard wearing heavy weave. I like the grey. We've got a nice complimentary curtain and um, net and we've also got fly nets and main blinds as well. The fly nets and main blinds are also on the big window up front. The cab windows are covered with silver screens at night. Moving forwards, we've got cabinets. Nice, deep, tall cabinets on both sides with a good shelf at a good height. Can I reach? Yes, I can. <laughs> there we go. This tiny dining table is a great size. It opens fully so there's a good space around you can maneuver it using a handle at one side forwards backwards it twists it turns and at night time it drops all the way down <laughs> to form part of the base of the bed making up the bed is relatively easy and intuitive so first we need to remove the cushion so we could get the table flat I'm just going to flip these up to give us the space we need. Just pull this section out, this flips over, and for added rigidity this leg comes down. So that's the first double bed made up. Up here we do have a TV point and another cigarette lighter socket here with a three pin power. It's got the Truma heating with the iNet ready um, on here. And it's got this style of control panel there. And just here under one of the seats, you slide this back and you'll see the main power supply unit. It's a Sargent EC400 Plus that's fitted in this van. Right here in the kitchen is the control to make the table go up and down. That's electric here. You've got a light switch and you've got two three pin sockets there. The kitchen is a great size for this price point. We've got tall cupboards here, two more really useful size cabinets. We've got three gas and electric hob, a good size oven and a drawer underneath. We call this a roundy cupboard <laughs> <laughs> because in our old Swift Contiki we had a rounded cupboard and it's just stuck. This is a good height. It's knives and fork storage is there and decent height all the way through. More cupboards up here and another pull out drawer here with the grill pan in. This is a very fancy Dometic double-sided fridge with freezer compartment. 
can open both ways. I love this bathroom layout. If you come through, on one side we have a toilet, sink, decent sized cupboard below, and a vanity cupboard high. And on the other side, we have a really good sized shower. This is great. You can feel the wheel arch there, but apart from that, it's a great size shower. And when you close off both side doors, this makes a really good space. I love it. The rear bedroom is two singles with a infill cushion to make it into a nice big double. Um, the kids really enjoyed staying in this. We also have two wardrobes. This one is deep enough for hanging space. And there's storage in the stairs, like that. Very handy for shoes. And there's handy drawers either side, here and here. Good sized drawers for pants and socks, I think. At the rear here, we have a nice little shelf, a brew shelf for your cup of tea, and power. There's also lots of Absolutely. light. This is a new design I've not seen before. Um, you can stop it at any point. And blinds. It's got the usual blinds and blinds. There we are. And curtains with net curtains in the back. There's also a place for a TV over here. So you've got a cigarette lighter here, you've got a TV point there, and there's a three pin. And again, there is a light switch for the nice mood lights that go all the way around the top. And I can sit up quite nicely in here. Right, height wise, it's good. Yep. Not just because I'm under the skylight. And these mattresses look to be fairly comfortable. They're the Duvalet Altos. Yes, very comfortable. As we said at the start, this is a four berth, four travelling seat motorhome. The travelling seats are actually a Gooty, so they fold flat and open, and they provide a really comfortable forward facing driving position for everybody. With the Gooty seats, you do lose storage under there, but you've got plenty of room for your leg room either side for travelling. This van's also got a lot of storage underneath the bed and in the garage. So I don't think you lose a lot of space at all with this van. So we were fortunate enough to take this van away for the last couple of days. So we've personally experienced what it's like to live in here for a few days. So the things that we really like about this van, I like the front lounge. I like the fact that there is a nice dining table with everyone that has a seat belt and a bed, has enough space to eat comfortably around a table. The boys enjoyed the mattresses at the back. They thought they were really nice. And the bathroom is one of my favorite features. The fact that the room itself is really good to use. You can stand in there, you can shower, Absolutely. you can do everything you need in it's there. It's bigger than our bathroom even. Yes, yeah. In ours. I'm not as keen on the toilet. I think that's a little bit cramped. And for me personally, I don't enjoy making up the front lounge into a bed, but Weighing that against the price of this van. Right, yes. Great value. A really solid van, lots of storage, lots of beds, lots of traveling spaces. And the Ford cab married with the back of this is perfect. It really, really does go down well. So I think they're on a winner with these new voyages, guys. Yes, absolutely. So really hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. Hope it's helped you narrow down your decision. Yeah, and if you like the video, give it a big th fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already.